Hey everybody, it's Dynamic Math here, and we're going to show you quickly how to restrict the domain of a function on GeoGebra. It's actually very easy to do. So I've actually just gone to Chrome and just went to uh, a new uh, app window here. So again, the address, the URL is geogebra.org slash APPS. It'll take you to a screen that looks just like this. Okay, you can do it in the software if you want to as well, if you have it downloaded to your computer or your iPad or whatever. But right here, we're just going to use the app. So uh, I'm going to go to the graphing calculator perspective right here. So I'll click it. And uh, I'm going to exit out of uh, what's down here. I don't really need it uh, so much. But so anyhow, I'm going to actually scroll a little bit here so you can see a little more of what we're inputting. Okay, and uh, there. So now. Let's actually look, take a look at a function that has infinitely many pieces. And uh, one trigonometric function is the tangent function. So f of x equals the tangent of x. Type it in there. It's up in a split second, right? Again, infinitely many branches. Uh, and again, it has asymptotes at odd multiples of pi over 2. But here, it's kind of hard to see that, right? I mean, we have the x-axis just being scaled by 1. So what we'll do is we could change that really easily. If you right-click anywhere in the white, Okay, go to the graphics at the very bottom there, and you'll see uh, a lot of a couple different tabs opening. But where it's where it says x-axis, click that tab, and uh, let's actually hide these ticks. I don't like seeing ticks, but where it says uh, where it says unit, okay, just type in literally pi slash two for pi over two, right? And you could kind of you could see that right there. It actually will will uh, you know put your put the, the units right there. And we can make the label x, right, for the x uh, axis right there. Y, same thing. I'm going to hide the ticks. I'm going to label it with the y. And then for the unit, I'll just, you could scale them by whatever. I mean, ones is fine, right? Because, again, we know the tangent ratio uh, of the tangent of an angle approaches infinity as that angle approaches pi over 2 uh, from the left side, right, as you can see right here. So now, here is, uh, here's the graph. So now... But um, in order for this function to, say, be invertible, right, in order for the inverse relation to be a function, right, ev every output can only have only one input that, uh, that's associated to it. Here, this is not the case because if you just take a look at the line, say, y equals 4, right, for example, y equals 4, right, well, this function, the, the out 4 is outputted, but it has infinitely many inputs that actually map to that. So we want to restrict the domain of this function in order for an inverse to, say, actually exist. So... Let me get rid of the y equals 4 there. We'll just exit out right there. So in order to do that, we're going to use the function command. So literally, type in the word function. Okay, notice a couple menu options pop up here. Go to the second one, hit enter. Function, it says function, function, start x value, end x value. Click that. So we're going to type in the actual function we want to take a piece of. So if you look back here, this tangent function we graphed in there is called f. So I'm going to put an f right in there where it says function. All right, and going to get rid of start x value. Well, where do we want to start this graph? I think at negative pi slash 2, right? And we'll end it at pi over 2 just to literally show the one branch right there. And if I type that in, see, it actually uh, changes it. It looks like this. Basically, it, it's a conditional statement. It's a conditional function. If the input value is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, then let's let the output function be g of x, or which is the tangent function within that specified uh, uh, interval over the domain there. So again, if you want to hide the green, just uncheck it right there and there you go. Voila. Um, that's how you do it. So thanks for watching.